the longest running play in the world, premiered in Sydney this week. Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. And joining me live is one of the stars of the Play and Helpman Award winner, Alex Rathbaker. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Janie. How are you? Very well indeed, and congratulations. I was very honoured to be able to go to your premiere, and it was absolutely amazing. The world's best kept secret. We're not going to tell anyone who uh, who done it, but um, tell us yeah. about the play because I mean it's just fantastic. It's the longest running play. It is. Yeah, it's been running in the West End for seventy years, only interrupted by COVID, which is astounding. The longest running play in the world. It's a real coup for Australia to get this show um, to celebrate the 70th anniversary production um, here in Sydney. We're at the Theatre Royal, which is a beautiful new renovated theatre, um, just playing for another two weeks before going on a, a national tour. The play is a classic whodunit, Agatha Christie, which you know from seeing it on opening night. Um, the audience are on the edge of their seat trying to figure out who committed this uh, murder and then things unravel. I can't give too much away, of course, but um, uh, my character is Giles Ralston and my wife and I have inherited this beautiful um, home which we convert into a guest house and all these crazy characters come to stay at the guest house and... Uh, the rest you'll have to find out when you see it. <laughs> yes, the rest is a mystery. And, I mean, again, it's the longest play in history, 1952 at the Theatre Royal in Nottingham. Uh, 28,500 performances so far. What do you think uh, is the reason it is such a success? Yeah, uh, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, in its time, people used to listen to the radio and radio plays and that sort of thing. Of course, these days... Um, uh, it's kind of a bit like, a, 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 I suppose, the closest thing to a reality TV show, you know, one of those competitions that we have now for its time. People would have been trying to figure out, you know, how things are going to unravel. Um, it's, uh, it's brilliantly witty. Um, we've got a fantastic Australian, all Australian cast here and, you know, bringing life to these words that have stood the test of time. Agatha Christie, of course, um, is uh, only outsold by the Bible and William Shakespeare, which is a, a largely um, unknown fact, but it's quite astonishing writing. So that's sort of the first thing. And then, um, it, it, yeah, it's just a really engaging night out. Um, it's a lot of fun. And again, without giving it away too much, I mean, you've got the beautiful set, which we have photos to show our viewers on on screen there. And there's not a huge amount of, you know, costume changes or lights and, and all of that. It's so much about the the writing, the words and, and the acting. Yeah, that's bang on there. The the text is everything. We've, we've been working with Robin Nevin, our director, who is one of Australia's foremost directors. Um, has run, you know, Sydney Theatre Company and QTC and, and those sorts of things. She is still an actor herself and um, a wonderful actor's director. She understands what it's like to be on stage and she's been incredibly sort of um, sensitive and sympathetic to, you know, um, how we all have our different process of finding um, our character and finding the journey of our, our character and the whole story itself. Um, so to work with her has been an absolute dream. I've acted with her in the past, but I um, haven't been directed by her. Um, John Frost, the, um, the iconic Australian director, has brought this to the Australian stage, and he has done so many shows around the country, uh, and internationally, I should say, um, knows how to put a show together. It's just beautiful, the set design and the costume design. There's no, the attention to detail is just exquisite. And the acting is phenomenal and, you know, huge congratulations to you and, and the rest of the cast. You, you're not just an actor, you're a singer, you're best known for your role in Billy Crocker in Anything Goes. Uh, what was it like to, uh, and is it like to play the role that you're playing? Is it uh, completely different from what you're used to? Yes, this year has somehow, um, as a happy accident, kind of become my year of stepping into plays. I did North by Northwest at the start of this year. Uh, which is a fantastic play. I was um, David Campbell's standby, and um, and now I'm doing this play. I've I've done a lot of musicals over the years, and I trained in musical theatre at Wappa over in Perth. Um, it's real. I'm really loving uh, just concentrating on the acting. Of course, there's a lot of voice use still, and I 
I still have weekly singing lessons and to keep my um, voice finely tuned. Um, there's a lot of musicality in, in the way we deliver spoken dialogue too. So I'm enjoying playing with that and finding different colors and rhythms in the, the, the comedy. And um, yeah, it's, it's really thrilling. I, I, I suppose I've done a lot of acting within all the musicals and it's nice just to bring it all together and consolidate it here in this show. Yeah, well said. And it's a, a beautiful ending to the play as well, but we won't say any more. It's on in Sydney and then heads to Brisbane, Adelaide and Melbourne. So plenty of time for people to uh, to head there. And if they're not in living in the cities, perhaps they can make a trip to, to go and see you because it's truly a remarkable play. And congratulations once again, Alex. Thanks so much, Janie.